Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Coast Coast by Bo. So, this is the original track. And these are the bases we're gonna be taking a look at. Very similar to the original. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos, and if you want to get access to the preset and the purchase files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. Don't forget that if you want to get more in-depth lessons and tutorials, we have many courses with pro artists, and we also have a lot of production resources like presets and sample packs on our website. You just gotta visit dmbacademy.com. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial ace patch, and the first base we're gonna be making is this one. So for that, we're going to have the default saw wave and we're going to pitch it up two semitones like that. So let's just automate that movement. Okay, so once you automate that, it's going to sound like this. This is the shape from the middle point to the maximum point, which will be two semitones. So now let's go back into Serum. And here we're just going to add a filter. We're going to add the MGLO24. We're going to add a lot of resonance. And we're going to change this cutoff point until it matches the resonance that we want. We can also key track this so it moves with the note we're playing. Let's leave it like that. And now let's go into the effects section. And here we're going to turn on the distortion. And next, we're going to add a multiband compressor, boost the gain and release, but bring this highs all the way down. Next, we're going to low pass this bass and maybe add some Q factor here. And there you go, that's our first bass. Now, let's jump into the next one. Okay, so here I have another initialized patch, and this one is also very simple. We're gonna load the basic shapes wave table, and we're gonna customize this sine wave. We're gonna begin by adding the first harmonic, then the third harmonic to kind of get like a square wave shape, and then add the fifth harmonic to make it a bit more pointy. And those are our fundamental harmonics. Next, we're going to go in the effects and add distortion like that. And now to add the transient, we're going to go into the matrix, map LFO number one into the global master tuning, do 19 points because that is equal to two octaves and then make a falling shape like this. And there you go. That's our second base. Cool, so now let's jump into the last one. Okay, so here you have another serum. And the first thing we're going to do is to shape or oscillator using LFO number one and make a short shape like this. Next, we're going to turn on the sub and the noise and do the same with those oscillators. There you go. And now we're going to filter this through a bandpass. Filter both the noise and oscillator A, bring the cutoff down, and boost the drive. Cool. Now let's go into the effects section and we're gonna turn on the distortion, boost it all the way up, then turn on a filter and modulate the cutoff of this filter. And now we're going to go back into the main tab and boost two octaves on oscillator A. And that should be the sound you're getting. Now let's jump into some pulse processing. Now the first element of pulse processing is going to be an EQ. Then we're going to add erosion to add noise into the sound. Add some reverb. And then one final EQ. Now we can go back into the patch and change the filter the octave on oscillator A, 
or even change the waveform. You can also change the noise. And this will be our last sound. So now if we play this, these are the three sounds from the original track. So that's gonna be it for the sounds and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any of your future videos. And if you wanna get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. Don't forget that if you want to get more in-depth lessons and tutorials, we have many courses with pro artists and we also have a lot of production resources like presets and sample packs on our website. Visit dnbacademy.com. Thank you so much for watching, hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.